Hello guys and welcome back to my channel and in today's video we're gonna take a look at LaTeX yes LaTeX so when you hear the word LaTeX you might be wondering what it is how it works why do I need it and all that questions so if you haven't heard of it LaTeX is a text processing or text editing or whatever you want to call it tool right so let me just do a quick search and say what the internet has to say so for the internet it says that LaTeX is a software system for document preparation like a word processor like LibreOffice Writer, Apple Pages or Microsoft Word but there's some key differences between LaTeX and other kind of stuff so there are multiple versions of uh, LaTeX. One, you can have a uh, online editor. Two, you can have a, a Vim setup and have download LaTeX uh, in your system and then do stuff from there. So what I like to do is do everything locally. So what I do is sudo pacman s uh, tech live full right i don't need to install it again but that's how i uh, installed uh, latic and what it installs is it installs all the packages that you see over here uh which allows you to compile the latic so how latic works is you have a uh, text plain text and you have a compiler like a programming language but then you take the plain text LaTeX and then pass it through a compiler and it compiles a PDF basically so let me cancel that and then I'm gonna go to uh, CD temp and we're gonna take a uh, look at how to quickly uh, create some programs right so uh, let me open up test.txt uh, let me clear that up. That was useless. So, uh, there are some boilerplates uh, that you need to write to get started, which has a lot of meaning. Uh, and if you go to overleaf and then documentation, uh, you will see uh, LaTeX documentation. You can uh, look at all the configuration and ways to uh, do stuff. But right now, I'll just go over the very basic of how to get started with it. So let's say you have a paper due in uh, 10 minutes. All right. I, I would like to keep everything under 10 minutes. So let's say you have a paper due in 10 minutes and you need to write something. So what you do is you open up LaTeX and then you start with uh, document class uh, A4 paper and then type is let's say article or report so we're writing a report right and then uh, in here uh, we can pass in things like the title right the title of the report will be my cool uh, take report and then author will be Dr. Muscovium and then in here we'll do begin document uh, and then end document and then in here for right now, I'll just type hello and then uh, WQ PDF LaTeX is the command that we use. And then we do PDF LaTeX text.txt. And uh, let's run. So we should be able to see test.pdf. So if I do my favorite uh, PDF viewer is the Tura. If I do that, PDF. Now we can see that there is a text hello. If I zoom in, hello. 
so that's how you can uh, start writing uh, simple stuff so you might be wondering what happened to the title and the author uh, to get the title and the author what we need to do is we need to type a command called uh, make title after begin document uh, make title so here's a cool uh, plugin that I have for uh, LaTeX is LLP star preview and what it does it, it uh, compiles and shows us the thing automatically so if you see right now it automatically created the uh, title page for us so if you're writing a lab report or something like that and if you're using Google Doc Google Docs or Microsoft Word, what you need to do is you need to either use the predefined template or you need to fiddle around with how to uh, center everything properly. But with LaTeX, it automatically does that for you. So for document class, there are more stuff that we can do. Instead of report, let's say uh, we want our, our article. Now what article will do is it will not make a whole new title page uh, it will keep everything in one page. So let's say if you just want to write some quick article and then you have the uh, title over here or the author that 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 and then let's say you're writing a journal, right? You don't want to write something too big. You don't want to write something too small. Let's say we start with an abstract Abstract And then we can say this is my cool Abstract where I will show you how to write a write an abstract something like that, All right? And now it automatically added the abstract. Uh, let me see if we can see it. It automatically added the abstract in here and everything else. So uh, other things that is really important is you can have sections uh, and you can give the name for the section so let's say this is my first section and then uh, this is a cool in my cool that take video and now you'll see uh, it, it it says one first section and then this is a cool first section in a cool attic video so similarly uh, there are other stuff that you can do like create uh, to make bullet points what you would do is you would begin uh, itemize and then uh, in here uh, there was the snippet that it added automatically but like that and then you, know, you can add items uh, say uh, so you are making doing an experiment and then you want to write some steps right so first thing is prepare your uh, let's say first step is prepare second step is add water or something like that and then now what it will do is it will create two bullet points prepare and add water and then uh, similarly uh, if you want uh, it to have numbers what you can do is you can uh, there is a different thing called begin enumerate and then in here, if you do uh, similar to that item, and then type first item item, it will say number one. And then if I do that, it will say number two. Now, as you can see, there is number one and number two, and then so on and so forth. So some other things that you uh, will commonly use uh, while writing LaTeX paper is to be able to import images. And uh, to import images, what we do is we use a package. So for that, uh, right after that, here inside the document, 
we can do use package graphics and what the graphics package allows us to do is add graphics there's a bunch of more things that you can do you can use uh, GNU plot to add images and all that kind of cool stuff but right now I'll just uh, show you how to add some images uh, so let me grab one image So I just moved uh, image over to that uh, to this current directory. So if I do shift and we should see a circuit one dot on JPEG. It's basically a simple circuit. Uh, I don't know why I had that, but so. Anyways, uh, what we do is for adding uh, images, we do begin figure, and then we want to add it right in place. So we use that and then uh, include graphics uh, circuit one dot uh, JPEG and figure. So what that will do is it will add, uh, okay, this is a really, really big image. Okay, I had no idea what it. Wait. Do that okay yep it's scaled all the way up and it's I cannot see what it is so let me do this put it inside of a scale box and then uh, set the value of scale box to uh, say 0.25 Okay, now it's a bit smaller and we can see some stuff. Let's say 0.05. Okay. Now we can uh, see that there is an image right here. But uh, let me see why it's doing that. Oh, uh, BGN begin. I spelled begin wrong. All right, uh, that's how you uh, add images. And then you can start typing uh, all that stuff. Oh yeah, one more thing. So if you add a new line over here, let's type something in. Okay, that was in asterisk. Uh, let me see it over here. So it will not create a new line and it will continue with the same line, right? To add a new line in LaTeX, you do a uh, double uh, slash at the end like that. And it will create a new line. Or uh, what you can do is you can add a space after that. And what it does, it, it creates a new line, but it's has this little margin in the front which is basically saying that it's a start of a new paragraph so keep that in mind when you write uh, some reports so that's a pretty basic uh, very bare bone and basic uh, introduction to LaTeX hope the video was helpful uh, and if you guys like it I will make more videos explaining and going into more in-depth of uh, each topic but this should be good enough to write some uh, lab reports papers and all kind of stuff thank you